the biology department is one of the largest majors on campus typically, usually uh, right up there with the economics. A lot of them come in hoping to be pre-med and a lot of them leave with a different idea in mind, but that's okay, that's good. Considering our upper level, um, our upper division biology courses, um, we have uh, 11 full-time faculty and a number of part-time faculty. And just some examples of upper division courses are immunology, which is taught by um, Dr. Pollock, who is not only an immunologist, but she is an equine immunologist, which means horses. We have a number of advanced marine courses, including oceanology and biology of marine fishes, where a student actually um, is required to totally disassemble a fish and then reassemble it. And they're often actually really cool skeletons that are produced that way. I personally teach all the plant courses in the department. So I teach, I start with a basic plant form and function, but then um, a sort of a junior, senior level course, it's plant physiological ecology, which means that I actually take my students out in the field with all sorts of really expensive equipment and we measure photosynthesis under different conditions. Each of us in the department is active in research and typically um, I think the average for us is to have about five students working in our lab um, throughout the school year. And it's work, it could be microscopy, it could be a project that is relatively independent, but usually those students are working with us on our own research, and so they can actually be co-authors with us. Usually, each of us has a number of students in the summer, too. I'd say uh, I get there the average is about two. Um, and not all of them actually work here. A few of them um, do research with us yet in foreign countries. So I have a student who's going to be spending his summer in Costa Rica um, gathering plant material for me. There's two remarkable programs in a college of this size. One is our marine biology program. We have a, the most active dive program involving undergraduates in Southern California. The other is um, the bird collection we have in Moore Lab. The bird collection has 70,000 specimens of incredible birds from Mexico and mostly from California and the southwest of the United States. And we also have this wonderful new faculty member whose research is based on those specimens. So I think the expectation is that the student becomes actively involved. There's just no, there's no escape. 